You knew I was coming back for you guys. Hey, it's Randy with King of Solar Screens, Window Screen Manufacturers. Big man Joshua, I think he's on the West Coast. He asked the greatest question. Randy, what's the way to build this style of window? These are popular here in the Houston area, all of Texas actually, where you have that nice tall window with a round top that's not separated. So Joshua, this is for you. We're gonna run over here to the bender. We'll start there. Let me get rid of this. Now, the bender is the very important thing to have, of course. Where you buy it is also important. I urge you strongly to use QualityScreens.com. They're out of the Dallas area. They don't pay me to say that. I just, uh, after 18 years, we've had a lot of different rollers. The roller they carry, numero uno in my opinion. But anyway, so here's our roller. As you're building that round top, always remember a half turn only. Of course, you've got the spline line in there so you don't pressure frame. And you just hand feed it. And again, one half turn per bend only. And the reason that is, is we do not want to create any rippling or damage to our frame. As we know, that would take away from the cosmetic beauty of that. So just to speed things up, I will not finish this one. Instead, I've already made one. It's sitting on the bench. We're going to head over to there. So come on over here. And as you can see, I've created that round top. It's laid out. This particular window had a 60-inch leg to the top of, or I should say the center of, where the arch begins. And then the dead center of that was 83 and 1 8. So, of course, I just bent as we did on there until I had that perfect radius. I marked it, took it over to my trusty pan saw, which is behind the cameraman, cut it off, and now I'm putting it together. So now, how do we put these together? Come on in a little bit closer. Believe it or not, the best way to do this kind of arch, once you've squared it off and you've made sure it's beautiful, is to just get an extra scrap piece of that particular frame color. In this case, it's champagne. Three quarter inch, just some scrap that you're probably gonna throw in the recycle bin anyway, just cut off a couple of inches rubber mallet. What we want to do is crush down the spline line by bending it over and then just kind of flattening that out a little bit. And the reason for that is we're going to feed it inside, which I've already done, so I'm going to pull this out. So we're going to feed that inside our, our arch. And we're also going to make sure that it easily slides into the main leg. Beautiful. Of course, I have a little black marker there. Have no fear, you don't have to have that. But now, of course, I'm just gonna take my drill. Keep my hands to where that is very tight. Of course, I always use color-coded rivets as well. In this case, again, champagne. So now the easiest part is just crushing it in there. And of course, you'll repeat this for the opposite side as well. Now, I my customers unless they say otherwise the rivets I only put on the spline side and the reason is is because I typically install it where the spline points in and the smoothness of that frame points out I find it more beautiful but the frames are solid aluminum or I should say uh, they're not solid but they are rigid aluminum where of course the rivets are just a very cheap metal that are painted the same but they will not last as long as that aluminum will and I believe that is a very honest statement to say so I try to put those on the inside so that as they begin to deteriorate or the paint begins to fade away on that cheap metal rivet, it's not seen. Instead, you have a gorgeous frame depending on where you get your frame. I use high grade. I think they're the prettiest frame in the, in the whole country. It's made here in America. It, it's beautiful. Their paint, everything is gorgeous. So I like high grade. But it doesn't matter where you get it. You can go to the big box store. It doesn't matter. But that's it. Now, when it comes to rolling this, and I'm gonna have you come down here. Of course, I'm a righty, which today I'm not rolling because I fell off the ladder and I broke my finger. But once you start it, I typically like to start about four inches above where the arch is connected. And the reason I do that is so that as I create my all the way around, it's easier to get those wrinkles out. So we have a nice clean look like we have on these three beautiful half moon top windows. I hope, Jeremy, that that was what you were looking for. If not, let me know. Shoot me a call. Of course, you got my email. King of Solar Screens at Gmail is the easiest way. Or info at windowscreenmanufacturers.com. Of course, you'll find that on the e-commerce site. 
send all of your questions. I promise I will answer them all. Anything, I'm an open book in this industry. That's it. Let me know.